welcome back to another cooking vlog so today we're going to make for you guys boy or Samoan banana drink um, it's similar to Vai Fala and Vai Meleni um, but this is consistent of the banana okay so boy what you, what you call it boy like boy and girl okay anyway so we're gonna get straight into it okay so this drink involves I'm using three bunches of bananas. There's about six or seven bananas in one hand. So about three of those. I'm also going to use some lady fingers that I found at the fruit shop as well. They're quite sweet. Okay, so make sure that your bananas are this color, close to brown, because they're very sweet. Okay, so overripe bananas are quite ideal for this drink. So you need about three. But, or three hands of bananas or three bunches of bananas you need one cup of coconut cream and I'm using Cara you also need half a cup of sugar you need a handful of ice one teaspoon of vanilla essence and one lemon rind so I've just um, peeled one lemon and it's just to taste the end and also I've got two cups of water here and that is all you need to make boy okay like I said before in my other vlogs everyone is different in how they approach this recipe so this is my general general recipe and you can add your own changes to it okay but this is um this recipe will feed or serve for at least four to five people okay at one gathering it's such a huge bowl okay let's begin okay so with the bananas you're just gonna peel them make sure you take the stringy bits off as well and you're just gonna break it up Okay, you're gonna break up the bananas so it's easier to mash when we mash them. Some people like to blend their fa'is or their bananas for the boy, but I prefer to have the normal old school way, which is mashing it with a potato mash. If you have one at home, great. So we're gonna <coughs> just break up these bananas and then I'll show you the next step soon. Okay. Yeah, so it's quite a, I mean you can get the kids to help you out with this recipe. It's real fun to have the whole family make boy together. But um, these bananas are not as overripe as I thought they would be, but nevertheless we'll use them anyway to make boy. Okay, we're going to break these up. Alright, so now that you've broken up your bananas, Banana peels. Okay, so now we're gonna mash these bananas, okay? So you gotta have to have a strong <laughs> willpower to mash through. And like I said, the overripe bananas are ideal for this because they will soft, they're very soft and they'll break up easily. I think bananas are just as good and sweet. Okay. The idea is to make sure you pounded these bananas so hard that it's broken it right up to like a pulp. Okay, but it's really like bits of banana still in there, that's good too. I'm just gonna break it up like so. Okay, so now you've got it to a manageable state. I'm going to kind of keep on pounding that, mashing these bananas for about two minutes. Okay, so you want to make sure you pound it out as much of the clumps as you can. Getting there. Not quite. That's why people like using the blender because they can't be bothered mashing it. But I find this is way better because then you get a workout, but you can also, it doesn't come out as watery. Blend it because blending it, yeah, you find that it turns into like a juice, a real refined state. But pounding it, well, you still get these little clumps, which is quite nice to have. And you see that the colors changed as well. As well, it's not that light yellow anymore. It's going to turn into like a brownish. And that's what you want. mashed out those clumps. Aim of boys to make sure it's 
enough to be considered as a drink. Sort of similar to Swafai, but instead of cooking it, we're just drinking it like that. Okay? So next we're gonna pour our coconut cream. anything so Just keep on stirring it and the water will mix with the banana. Okay. So ideally this is some families actually leave it overnight to just sit and chill in the refrigerator and then serve it the next day, but we're gonna serve it. Now lastly, we're going to add our lemon rinds. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so um, we're just going to allow this mix to sit for about half an hour. Just to allow the lemon rind to do its work um, and sort of give it that lemon flavour. So, you don't have to use lemon rind if you don't want to. Um, but I'm going to use lemon rind in this recipe, okay? So yeah, we're just going to let this sit for about half an hour and allow the lemon rind to um, give it that lemon flavour and then we'll come back and stir it into the jug ready to try out, okay? Hey guys, so now we've um, come back to the poi. If you notice that the colours change now. I'm going to remove the lemon rind now. It would have done its job. if there's any more ideally if you have it if you can get it done you peel it all in one go for one large lemon rind that'll be great and that's all okay so now we're going to pour our boy okay so we're going to do our eyes first Here's your poi, banana poi, ready to serve and drink kukuhai. Enjoy! Hi guys, so welcome back. We've just served our um, poi into the jug. And then I've just poured myself some poi. So here we go, his banana drink. Um, so yeah, that's our vlog for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. The full written recipe will be available um, in the description below soon. I've just uploaded the Far Aussie as well as the um, other vlogs that have been pending with the um, written recipe. So stay tuned for that. I'm slowly typing them out and uploading them as we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna have some boy now. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh my goodness. 
little creamy, the um, coconut cream, real nice. You notice this one doesn't have condensed milk, it's just full on coconut cream, banana and sugar. Mm. Not I. I can imagine drinking this after a long day outside in the summer. So yeah, that's our vlog for today guys. Mm. If you don't like it real thick creamy like this, you can always add more water and bring it up. The, but man, honestly, I love it like this, it's so good. Mm. Stay tuned because our next vlog will be roasted lamb chops. Okay, that'll be our main dish for this week. We'll see you then. Thank you to those who have, um, have subscribed to this channel. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button below. And don't forget to follow me on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as add me on here or subscribe to my channel. And also follow me on t TikTok as well. We'll see you then. Faso Fua, have a good week. Bye. So this is this is Mother's Day. I'm um, on Sabbath. We've got Grandpa and Grandma over here. All this yummy food. Beds in the kitchen. So happy Mother's Day, young lady. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. You face so Say Uba. Okay, nice broccoli. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Yep. Um, Fai a lome, a foa, a pe foa mulitalo, a mania atule a tua ia te otou, manuia le nei sa pati, a manuia foa ilea so tina mo otou, mei se foa ilea tina o malava o e kare si o taitas, o le rei a yale mako pai, le a ka atari po la harikai bie, sao e le mako ke seet, ia na nga taari pai le vai fala, mako vai fala, a nga ia yo le mako vai fala, yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>